Hi there, Blaze here and in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to serialize dictionaries and other complex objects to JSON format in Unity. Then we're gonna save this data to file and also load and use it inside the project. There are currently two main methods to do this in Unity. First is by using external library and second without using only what Unity provides for us. I definitely recommend to do this using external library and this tutorial is about that. But I know that sometimes you can't use external libraries so stay tuned and check my channel. Second tutorial will be coming soon. One more thing before we start today's tutorial covers only serialization to file, so we will not display dictionary in inspector's window. If you are interested in that, wait for this second tutorial. Okay, let's begin. Quick reminder that finished projects from this tutorial is available on my Buy Me A Coffee page, so if you want to obtain it, you can buy it here. Prices starts from $1. Of course, I will show you the entire process of coding in this video, so think about this product more like as a support for my work. Thanks, and let's begin. So as I said, we will be using external library. So the first thing is to go to newtonsoft.com slash json website. And this is the library we will use, json.net. This is free library, which is provided to us using Meet license. And that means that we can use this project inside both commercial and free projects. Okay, times ago, there was a project called Newtonsoft JSON for Unity. But currently, when you go to this site, to this repo on GitHub, you will see that since late February 2022, Unity has published and updated version of their package and this package is called community nugget newton soft json we need to copy that go to unity window package manager click this plus icon and add package by name we need to paste it here we can remove this version here click add and now we have newton soft json package installed in unity currently i'm using version 3.2.1 which is from may 2023 and this is good version for unity 2022 okay so now we have our package installed and we will create some scripts and i will show you how to serialize this using external library. Let's create the script and let's call it serialize data and let's open it in the Visual Studio or another your favorite IDE. We can remove the mono behavior inheritance or usings and the content of the class and data in this class will be serialized uh, later. Let's create another script and let's call it serializator and also let's open it. This will be mono behavior. So we need to add this script to the object on the scene. So let's create new object, call it serializator and let's add component serializator, save the scene. Okay, switch back to the Visual Studio. We can remove unused usings and the content of this class. We will actually call serialization and the serialization in the start function here so we can add it and we need two other functions one for serialized data and one for the serialized data and deserialize Okay, so we have our serializator class with start and serialize and deserialize data. Let's call serialize data in the start function and then we will call the serialize data. And this is all we need to do in start. Now we will do our serialization, but we need to have something to serialize. So let's create some fields and let's start with basic types. Go with private int number five private float decimal number and for example 3.14. Let's also add string, name, John Smith. Let's add a list and let's set the list of integers, for example. Integers, they will representing, I don't know what, but this will be integers. So let's create new list and add some objects. 5, 6, 7, for example, we can use short new. And let's create a dictionary, for example, string and string custom fields and we can initialize it in the serialized data constructor custom fields at and let's add for example phone number and set to whatever it is and maybe one more field email and let's go with John Smith that Smith.com. Okay, so we have our data and this data should be serialized. So to serialize this data, we need to use external libraries, but I will start with implementing this using default uh, Unity toolset. So I can show you the difference between uh, Unity serializer and JSON serializer from uh, Newtonsoft. So let's create var JSON. We will use JSON utility to JSON and we need to push the object new serialized data. We just created copy of serialized data with all these fields filled in this way and now we need to save this to the file for example write all text and application data path slash save data but json this will create this file in the assets folder so we can easily find it but uh, if you use it in your game you should use another location maybe you can use application that persistent data path 
Okay, and in this realized data, we need to read from the file. File read all text from the same path, of course. And now we have this JSON, we can do with it some manipulations, but I will just display it in the debug log so we can check this uh, from the console if everything is fine. Okay, so let's switch to Unity and start this application. And as you can see, our return JSON is empty. And if we go to the Finder or File Explorer on the Windows, we have this save data JSON file here. Let's open it with Visual Studio Code, for example, because Visual Studio Code have good formatting for JSON files. Yes, we have empty JSON. And the reason of this is because in serialized data, we have all these fields private. To serialize these fields, we need to make them public, for example, or serialize fields and we need to import Unity Engine then. Let's play the game now. We have a number here. Let's switch here, number five. And let's back to this. As you can see, we have only this number added. And the reason is because this serialized field is in class that is not set as serializable. We need to set serializable here then. And then when the class will be serializable and the field will be serialized field, when we click play, we have both numbers added here on the console. And when we switch here, format this, we have this both number. So you can use serializable class with serializable private fields, or you can use public fields. This works the same. I will go with public fields now because I want to keep this tutorial simple. Public fields are not as good as private serialized fields, but in some uh, simple classes, which is used only for containing data, public fields are probably okay. Okay, so I set all fields to the public and now I go to the Unity and what will happen when I click play? Let's open the JSON file. As you can see, we have number, decimal number, name and integers, but custom fields are missing. This is because standard Unity JSON tools are not able to serialize and deserialize dictionaries. So when we want to use Newton's JSON library, all we need to do is change this line, JSON utility to JSON, to JSON convert from the Newton's JSON library, serialize object, and we can push this. And then when we will save this back to the Unity and click play, let's open this file. Now we also have custom fields in dictionary, which is something like the sub object here. And this sub object have phone number and email field with this content. Okay, so this is about serialization. This JSON file, which is here, can also be deserialized. So let's make the object from it, serialized data. And to deserialize this, we need to use JSON convert that deserialize object. And we need to specify type, type is serialized data and we need to push the JSON. Now, the only way I can show you that this object is deserialized is just display it with, with the debug log function. And now here you have this JSON string and here you can see that we have serialized data and that means that this object was deserialized to this object. We can, for example, display the name from it or any other field. And when you click play, you have John Smith in this place. So you can see that the name is working. And let's check also custom fields. So you can see that the dictionary is working also. And the name of one of the fields is email. And when we run this, we have this deserialized and we have John Smith added to smith.com. So as you can see, this is the easiest way to serialize and deserialize dictionaries. This also works for some other fields. Uh, you can use also queues probably. Let's set queue of int, queue, and let's end queue two, and then five. When we now go with the serialization, um, so we need to play the game and check the file. You can see that queue also is serialized as the array. Newton's of JSON is smart enough to set it to the type it should be. Dictionary, for example, is serialized as sub object and queue is serialized as the array. Okay, so this is probably all about serialization using Newton's of JSON library, the easiest way to serialize dictionaries. But if you really don't want to use this library or you can't use this library, the next tutorial will come in the next week or two. So stay tuned and check my channel. Hope it helps. If you have any questions, write it in the comments and see you next time. Bye.